So we're talking now about con color fur or white fur. This is a, a true fur that is native to the western United States. Uh, there's a coastal form that grows in California, but what we're after here in Michigan is going to be the uh, intermountain form. So you want to make sure as you're looking at your seed sources that you're getting a source that's uh, from the Rocky Mountain region of, of the U.S. Con color fir is a nice, a nice tree from the standpoint it's got nice long needles, has a very blue color. Uh, some con color firs can be almost as blue as a, as a blue spruce. Another big attribute or a big plus for con color fir is their scent, often described as kind of a citrusy scent. And so people that like that smell really, really like uh, con color fir. It's one of these species that uh, people either really like or maybe don't care for, but people that, that really like con color fur, they will, they will seek it out. The biggest probably liability with con color fur is that it's prone to uh, late frost damage, so it often tends to break bud early. And so as we can see here is an example where earlier this year, uh, late in the winter, the, the buds had begun to break uh, as we got a little bit of warm weather and then we had a late frost and resulted in uh, some, some frost damage here. Unfortunately, in a lot of areas that can be a every couple of years sort of occurrence with, with con color. So you need to choose your sites carefully, avoid any frost pockets uh, with con color fur. Uh, another advantage of con color fur for those people that are interested in getting into the landscape market, this also makes an excellent landscaping uh, tree. So if you have the equipment, you're interested in, in digging some trees for B, the B&B market, uh, con color fur would be a good way to uh, get into that market as well.